Hi, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox. And guess what? We're at the Long Beach Comic Expo. And, oh my God, this, this is Lauren Lester. Yes, voice, voice actor extraordinaire. Hi, Lauren. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow, I can't believe seeing you here. Yeah, this is great. Okay, so I have some questions for you. All right. Um, let's start. Uh, when you were cast as Robin yes. on the uh, Batman animated series, yes. what was your uh, perception of the character? I mean, you know, there's that uh, Burt Ward guy in the 60s. Yes. And uh, did that color it at all? Well, I grew up with that Burt Ward guy. Yeah. So uh, how could I not be influenced by it? I mean, he, right. he was the only Robin that I knew. So, yeah, it had a lot of influence on the voice that I came up with. Oh, nice. Can we hear a little bit? Sure. Batman. It isn't a joke. It's a riddle. We're not looking for the Joker. We're looking for the Riddler. Oh my God! <laughs> That's, that was great. Well, thank you. Wow, I I just got like little little, little like like goosebumps all up and down here. You know, you're helping me cross something off my bucket list right now. Yeah, what is I it? I always wanted to be on Sesame Street, and I was never able to. Oh. So thank you. I thought you were going to say always wanted to be interviewed by a very handsome man. Well, that too. Well. <laughs> Goes without saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, uh, the great thing about you know animated series, you yes. know, uh, room for character development and story arcs. Um, well, did you know that uh, Dick Grayson will later move out of uh, Batman Shadow and become Nightwing? No. When the show switched? No, I had no idea. And in fact, uh, they called me and they said. Uh, I have some good news and I have some bad news. Was like, and you know, in show business, yeah. it's always, not, you never want to hear bad news. Okay, so the, they said the, the bad news is you're not going to be Robin anymore. But the good news is now you're going to be Nightwing. So, it was, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so that was nice. And uh, the character really developed into his own superhero. He became an equal to Batman. And that's what was really great about doing the Nightwing episodes and my favorite episode is Old Wounds where oh. I got to play both Nightwing and Robin. I played Robin in flashbacks and I got to play Nightwing in the uh, present. Oh, nice, nice. One of my favorites was the uh, two-part episode of uh, Robin's Reckoning. Yes, the Emmy winning two-part episode. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, had a little bit to do with that yourself, huh? I can't take credit for that. No, a little it's, bit. It was for the writing. Yeah, got, but when Emmy's for the writing. writing but, yeah. but it was great to have great writing. It was oh, great yeah, to yeah. see them win an Emmy. The only Emmy the show got, unfortunately. Deserved more. Did, all right. Do you have any memories of uh, working with, with in the studio with uh, Kevin Conroy or oh, uh, sure. Mark Hamill? Oh, it was always fun. It was always a blast. We uh, laughed a lot. We had a great time. And uh, we were all there together for every episode. Th that's not always the case, huh? It's never the case anymore. Now when you do uh, uh, shows, you're usually there with one person or you're by yourself. So that in those days, we, everybody who was in that episode was there. Oh, wow. Excuse me one second. Yeah. It's driving me crazy. How's that better? Yeah. Can you see better now? Yeah, oh, okay. thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> the great Lauren Lester cleaned my glasses. I, I knew it would be driving me crazy. It, well, they're so close to my eyes, I couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah. Do, okay, I see you got like uh, photos for sale and yeah. you got some toys. Well. Yeah, oh, that's nice. That's good. Oh, yeah. Do you? Uh, this one's really scary. Yeah. Ah! yeah. <laughs> Do you own any memorabilia from the show, like a like any cells or anything? Yes. Toys? Well, you know they gave us cells oh. every year, oh. and they signed them, so I have them all signed by the creators of the show. Okay. Which is great. And uh, of course, I own all the toys. Uh, my collection is only like Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill has all the toys from all Star Wars and everything. Wow. But I, I have an extensive Batman toy collection. Okay, you gotta tell me, in the package or out of the package? Are you playing with these things? In the package. Oh, I'm no fool mint. because I'm no fool because I have all my toys from when I was a kid. Played with them all the time. Not worth anything. Oh. Not worth a thing. Well, worth a lot of memories. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Of course, and I had fun playing with them. Though. Yeah, yeah. But if I had just kept that GI Joe box. Yeah, that's true. But who knew? We were kids. Right, the first thing you do is you throw out the box. Yeah, we were kids. Yes. Actually, the first thing you do is play with the box. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Play with the box, then the toy, then throw away the box. Yeah. Exactly. 
Okay, okay. How about how was it? Uh, how was it playing the villain? You know, Doctor uh, Kurt Langstrom, the man, oh. the, aka Man Bat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How was that? That was really fun because I got to play uh, a, a very mentally disturbed individual. He was really crazy. Hey. Yeah, Thanks. and he goes through a lot of. And uh, when people play the game, they tell me that uh, Man Bat is the scariest part of the game. It scares scares the heck out of. Me. So I like that. <laughs> I like being part of that. So, Do you have any the Man Bat for us? What's that? A little bit of man bat. I can't. I would be thrown out of here if I did that. Uh, no, I can't do that. The Smurfs. No. Security. Wow. How, how, different, how different is it recording dialogue for a video game versus animated series? I used to watch that. Um, it's not that different, except sometimes uh, video games are very vocally stressful because um, in, in an animated show, you will do a couple of takes of something, maybe. In, in a video game, let's say a war video game or something like that, you'll be screaming over and over again. And they'll say, well, now you've been shot. And so you die like that. Now you've been blown up and you die like that. Now you fall down and you die like that. So you have to do all those different variations. Oh. And uh, well, you can lose your voice after a, a yeah, video yeah. game uh, session. Oh, okay, so this kind of leads me to the next question. Yeah. Those grunts and groans and the dying. Yes. Um, how is that? I mean, is that? Is that fun or no, not really? No, well, uh, well, on animated series, it's fun okay. because uh, a lot of times you don't know. Yeah, like that. You're very good. Thank you. A lot of times uh, you don't know what it's for, and so the vo voice director Andrea Romano was our wonderful director for the Batman and Robin show, the animated uh, series, and uh, she would say, um, "I need a grunt here. Uh, you've just been hit in the head by a, like a mace." <laughs> So can you make it? And that'll be different from being hit in the head like with a, a boomerang or something. Like, uh, uh, you know, depends on what it is. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That's great. Well, thanks for talking to us. Oh, pleasure. And, yeah. Well, we need to know what projects do you have coming up? Well, uh, I have a uh, project coming up that's premiering at the 2017 Comic Con. Oh. And it's, I can't, I'm not allowed to say one word about it. You just did. Oh, well, you whispered to me. I yeah, mean, who yeah. am I going to tell about puppet? And I, and I can't tell, right, exactly. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, and I, then, and then, and wait, wait, wait hold on. Yeah. yeah, but remember, I signed the non-disclosure agreement. You cannot yeah, but say I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. But you, you, know, you, you know can't they, sign anything. You know what they say? <laughs> Telegraph, telephone, telepuppet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's very smart. Yeah, yeah. And then the other thing I'm doing, which I can talk about, okay. is a movie called A Week in London, yeah. which is a mockumentary. It's a very, very funny movie, and that's coming out uh, in August. Did I see you on Castle? You did. You were the principal, right? I was. That's right. You Thank had to you. work with Alexis. Yes, thanks for noticing me. Yeah. I thought, like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's that? Where's that Turner? Well, that, that's pause. usually like you know that's been a story of my career most days yeah. that people go wait oh, oh was that him? That's why you get a Turner right there and you pause it and right. you send it back and you go exactly that's Lauren Lester. You take yeah. a screenshot. Yeah. 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 Talking to Molly Quinn. Wow. Yeah, nice. You know more about my career than most people. That's pretty good. Cool. Did your research? Well, I like you. Thank you. Yeah. Same here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this has been Flick from the Nerd Soapbox with. Lauren, Lauren Luster. I'll see you on I'll see you on Avenue Q, okay? Oh. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's t take us out with a little okay, I'll do Batman if you do Robin. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Right. I'm like, what are the odds that I it hurts so much? This is Robin! Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you were getting punched, I love it. I was. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
Hi, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and welcome to our first annual uh, Nerd Soapbox Celebrity Panel. Yes, so uh, we've got microphones on uh, either side of the room here for uh, questions, and we'll be starting. Uh, go ahead and line up there. Uh, uh, questions, anybody? Hello? 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 Anyone? That's it, I'm out of here.